I'm in charge of this investigation. Not anymore, you're not. But that's not fair! Is so, is so! Trouble Star Wars video game remake shifts the new studio. Welcome back to another KOTOR remake update ladies and gentlemen. Unfortunately, we're not at the point where we're getting updates on the game itself, and if this report by Jason Schreier of Bloomberg is eventually confirmed, then we may have to wait even longer than we expected. The high profile remake of Knights of the Old Republic will go to Saber Interactive in Eastern Europe. Now, I've noticed some sentiment from people who are fine with this unless this Eastern European studio is based in either Russia or Belarus. We all know why. Unfortunately for them, they might be setting themselves up for heartbreak. Saber Interactive is an American company with offices in Belarus, Portugal, Russia, Spain, and Sweden. Unless they decide to open up a whole new studio in Romania, Moldova, Bulgaria or something, it's likely it's gonna be one of the two. Which I'm sure will lead to a whole new problem. I can hear it now. Boycott the KOTOR remake. I've started a change.org petition and so on. Besides Aspire Media, they have other subsidiaries, some of which are in the Eastern European countries, but none of them are viable for this kind of project, honestly. The highly anticipated remake of the video game Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic has a new developer after a bumpy ride. I wonder if by bumpy ride he's also referring to the effects his own article had. But according to an anonymous source, Aspire Media is out. No public statement has been made yet. Embracer Group, who owns Saber and in effect Aspire, so far has nothing to say, except for this. They said one of the group's AAA projects has transitioned to another studio within the group. The specific project was not identified. But I have to say, I wouldn't really like this. They've been working on this project little by little for two years. They went into full production this year, and they managed to get some very promising people on board, including people who worked on the original KOTOR at Bioware. I think it's safe to assume that a new studio isn't going to take these people with them. So now there's quite a bit of uncertainty concerning the actual people who are going to be working on this project. It seems most of you disagree with me, however. I held a poll asking, do you think Saber Interactive should take over the KOTOR remake? And the vast majority of you said yes. In the comments, I noticed a few people suggesting that Respawn Entertainment should be the ones developing this. Now, obviously that isn't going to happen, but no one explained. Why them? Because I honestly have no idea. Some people also wanted Obsidian to take over, but that's obviously also a complete impossibility. Embracer stock stumbled on Monday after lukewarm reviews of an upcoming game, Saints Row, and it's down 28% this year. Yeah, I heard about that. I remember watching the reveal trailer on stream. We were very confused. Looks like Fortnite. Oh, that was Saints Row? Really? Really? Still. Some close to the project said they are optimistic this will lead to a better product. Decision makers at Embracer and at publisher Sony Group Corp and Walt Disney Company, both of whom have financial interests in this game, were displeased with progress on the Aspire, which ultimately led to the transition. The homie 100% Star Wars published a video recently also covering this news, I highly recommend watching it. In it, he gave us some insider information that indicated that this statement is only 50% true. Disney, aka LucasArts, we're very pleased with Aspire Media. Sony, on the other hand, were not. Why? Because the game wasn't pretty enough. They wanted the graphics and presentation to feel more cinematic, like all their other first party titles. So yeah, Sony. 2025 release window? I wouldn't be surprised if it ends up being 2030 at this point. But this is all I have to say, nor do I want to have more to say because I have to turn my fan off to record this and It's hot like alien balls in here. 